Filming 4K footage has become so accessible that now you can film 4K on your phone. And even some new cameras are capable of shooting up to 8K. But you may have noticed that editing 4, 6, or 8K footage can really bog down your computer, especially if it wasn't built to handle that type of footage. It either lags during playback or slows down your computer so much that it takes longer to edit your video. Now you may think you have to run out and buy a new computer with the latest RAM and graphics card to be able to edit this footage faster. That is an option, but if you don't have the money or aren't ready to buy a new computer yet, you could create proxies, which are lower resolution copies of your higher resolution footage that are much more manageable for your computer to work with. In this video, I'll teach you how to create these proxies in Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. Hey, I'm Desiree and I created tutorials on making better videos. So if you want to level up the quality of your videos, then subscribe to my channel. My advice for basic filming and editing is to film in the resolution your camera and computer can handle. Don't get me wrong, because 4K footage looks incredible and I love filming in 4K, but it's not always necessary to shoot in. And my computer does struggle a bit when I edit these videos. If you're making YouTube videos, filming and editing in 1080 is perfectly fine. And it's not really necessary to upload videos with a higher resolution than that, unless you're doing something special. But there are times when you need to film and edit in a higher resolution, like if you're making a film. I have an older MacBook Pro that has no problem editing 1080 video files, but it does struggle a bit with 4K files and some of my Sony a7S III files. So I create proxies whenever I need to edit in 4K. I use Premiere Pro for editing my videos, so let's go in it right now. I already imported this 4K video I shot. So to create the proxy, I'm gonna right click on the video and go all the way down to here where it says proxy and then click create proxies. So here you have a few options for the format. I'm going to choose QuickTime, but you have the option to also choose an H.264. And then for a preset, you can select from these options. These are the QuickTime options. I'm going to go with the ProRes low resolution proxy. And then here you have the option to save the proxies next to the original file in a proxy folder. So it'll have a separate folder next to where you have your original video file, or you could specify a particular folder. I'm going to go with this option and then click OK. So now it's going to create the proxies. So what Premiere is going to do is send it over to Media Encoder to render out in a smaller resolution file. So we're going to go over here to Media Encoder and you can see here, it's starting to render out the proxies. So it's done rendering and I'll show you where the proxies ended up. So if you go here is where I have my footage. This is the original video file. And then now you see there is a folder named proxies in the same folder. And when you click here, you'll see the proxy file, which has the same name as the original file, except now it says proxy at the end of it. So you can differentiate the two. So we're going to go back into Premiere Pro and on my timeline, if I scrub through the file, you can see it's not really moving the video over here. It's just really slow. So what we're going to do is actually toggle between the proxy and the high res file. So in order to do that, you're going to click this button here that says toggle proxies. Now, if you don't have this button here, you can click the plus button here and add it. So you would just select that and kind of drag it in there. But since I already have mine in there, I'm not going to add it again. So now when you turn that on, it changes to a blue color. And now when I scrub through and you can see it scrubs so much smoother, which is going to make editing much faster. So if you want to color correct your video, I recommend turning off the proxies and actually color grading the high res file. This is something important you should know about proxy files. And that is that you never want to import proxy files into your Premiere Pro project. You always want to link to them because 
those are very low resolution files and Premiere would think that's the file you want to edit and when in fact you want the higher resolution. So never import proxy files, only import the high quality footage into your Premiere Pro projects. To render the video, you have two options. The first is to render out the video at the full resolution. And the other way is to render out a lower resolution version using the proxies. I recommend doing the second way if you're sending the video to a client for approval and they're gonna come back with multiple rounds of revisions. When you render the video out in full resolution, it'll take longer to render depending on the speed of your computer because it's using the high-res files. Rendering the proxy files will be faster and once you have the final video completed, then you can render out the video in high resolution. To render using the proxies, go to File Export or Command M on a Mac or Control M on a PC. So you see down here, this Use Proxies checkbox, you're gonna select that and it'll use the proxies to render out the video. Just make sure you have the right format. I'm gonna use that one and then either click export to export the video or hit Q to send it to media encoder. To render the full version of the video, just make sure this use proxies checkbox is unchecked. And then just make sure you have the format and the preset you want, and then click export or Q to send it to media encoder. If you already created proxies in your camera, I have another video where I show you how to attach those proxy files to your Premiere Pro project. I'll link that video in the description below. So that wraps up this video. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. And click on the bell to get notified of when I post new videos. Let me know in the comments below if you're using proxies in your editing workflow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.